Hey everyone, our topic for today is about performance appraisal score and normal distribution curve or the bill curve. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the sample of the performance appraisal score, which I'm gonna do now. So what we're going to do to get the sample of the score, I, I'm gonna do a, a random between numbers, okay? So equal sign, run between. So click the run between uh, function. And then the argument would be low, uh, comma and high numbers. These are sample of numbers that we're gonna get. So I'm gonna start with the number 45 as our low numbers. And then I'm gonna get the high numbers, say 75, okay? Then close it with parentheses, closing parentheses and enter. So we got the 68, our sample numbers with formula run between. So I'm gonna drag it down to get more samples. And no need for me to put the name of employees or whatever, because what is important here in our sample is just the numbers or the X numbers, All right? So I'm gonna fix the number, so I'm gonna remove the, the uh, formula. So just copy it and then copy paste, paste special and values only. So we get values only. Okay, but next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna, so that we know what is our, you know, the maximum numbers, I'm going, I'm gonna sort this range, okay? Sort this range. So data tab, then sort range, uh, Z to A, okay, descending order, or the largest to smallest. So our smallest number is 45, and our biggest number is 75, okay? Just like we, what we want in a random, uh, random between, okay? So I'm gonna get the mean number, okay? The average number of this range. Okay? So the number would be this range, the main number would be this range. Okay, let's, let's get the uh, formula first. Okay, I'm gonna get the uh, average and the value would be this range, okay? So we're gonna select this range all the way down to number 45, all right. Although there are several 45 here. Okay, but that's the lowest number we got from our samples. And then just close it, then enter. Okay, we don't need uh, too many de uh, decimal places, so we're gonna, okay, actually we don't need uh, decimal places, just 60 is okay. And then we're gonna get the, uh, the standard deviation number, okay? Okay, so that's sigma, standard deviation. Again, okay, what we need here, what we what we need in our formula is the standard deviation, TDEV. Okay, just click this one, TDEV. Then again, get the rain, range, the sample that we got for our appraisal score. This is supposed to be performance appraisal score of employees, this is what we're getting. So the, we decide the pass mark, we decide, you know, the majority of the, the uh, employee who's gotten high score or something like that, okay? We're going to analyze the observation based on a normal distribution, distribution okay? So, um, okay, uh, next thing we do is, okay, I'm gonna get the percentile also. and the score to attain. Something like that, okay? 
here maybe I'm gonna start with 60 percent Okay, point six. Then, okay. Uh, I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the x number first. Okay. Gonna put it in the middle. Just uh, get the alignment here in the middle, center, right. Then. Okay, so the lowest number is 45 and the biggest or the largest number is 75. This is the score, supposedly the score of the performance appraisals held, uh, conducted by the, perhaps the manager of the, of the department or the company, right? So um, I'm gonna uh, put it uh, less than 45, maybe 35, okay? And next one with 36. So I'm gonna copy this down uh, to get all the way up to maybe 85. Because the, the largest is 75. I think oh, there's too much. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete from 86. Okay, this one, because we only need our next X number. And this would be our horizontal axis of our bell curve. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, okay, do the uh, normal distribution. Okay, that would be our normal distribution uh, header or rather title and then we're gonna get the norm dot this. Okay, norm dot this, this one, right? The X would be this one, right? Since we're gonna, I'm gonna copy it down, so that would be a relative reference, then just comma, and then the mean number would be the one on top, this one, and then, Okay, uh, absolute reference, F4, then comma, and then standard deviation, the sigma. We got number nine as our standard deviation of the normal distribution of the observation. So that would be F4, and then the next one would be cumulative. Cumulative is just zero, okay, as we have learned in the past in our Excel Excel uh, lessons, okay? Then just get everything right, okay. Just enter, okay. Suggested auto fill, okay. Uh, click here. I think it's, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we're gonna remove this, all of these zeros. We don't need them, okay. Now we can plot our chart, our bell curve, yeah, our normal distribution curve. Okay, just select the X number and the normal distribution. The reason why I did not, you know, use the score as our X number because yeah, it will not uh, go to zero, you know, the the tail, tail of the curve, right? So, because I won't put it uh, lower than the, uh, the lowest number, 45, I put it 35. Uh, okay, and 85 instead of 75 for the largest number. Then we just click the insert and then uh, click the chart. It's not working. Okay, it's working now. Okay, okay. Um, okay, uh, see if we can, yeah, we can read it. I think it's better to get the scatter scatter chart so that we can easy easily we can get the okay see we can pinpoint the the numbers we that meant to get All right and it it covers okay it covers the uh, the list that we have the samples the normal distribution list 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to own sheet. Okay, right, it's own sheet. So what we have is all right. Um okay, we're gonna get the attain score to attain first, uh, which means we're gonna be I'm gonna be using the main norm mean v. Okay, just click norm in V, and then X number would be uh, this one, uh, F4, and then comma, and then the mean number would be this one, again F4, then comma, and the last one is the standard deviation of nine. Okay, then F4, then close it, enter, okay? This is in, uh, okay, we need numbers for this, number, just number, okay. Um, all right, uh, remove the zero, uh, rather the decimal places. Okay, 62, B62. If we decide that we're gonna put 0.5 or 50% of the population, that would be 60 score to attain, okay. Right, so our our average number is sixty. Okay, this one, it's right here in the middle, sixty, and this would be the zero. Okay, sigma, zero, sixty, right in the middle or the median. Okay, median. Then if we go to the right, that would be plus uh, positive one, sigma, positive two, positive three. Okay, going to the left would be uh, positive, uh, uh, rather negative one, negative two, neg negative three, sigma, all right? And the mean number would be the 60 as what we have here as our mean number, and the sigma is nine. So if we're going to, okay, minus the deviation, standard deviation of nine, 60 minus nine, that would be 51, right? So this would be our uh, observation of the normal distribution. As you can see, they are, they, they are all equal left to right because it is symmetrical, right? Symmetrical so because of our normal distribution is symmetrical in shape. So this would be 51 right here, minus nine, sigma. Okay, standard deviation from the other side, the positive side is the is the 60 plus nine, that would be how much? That would be 69. So be between uh, 51 right here and right here, 69, that would be our observation area. Okay, the area that we have, the majority, uh, two, -third of, two third of our uh, normal distribution and our population is right here in between 51. That would be, um, okay, that would be 69, all right, minus 51, okay, all right? Okay, that would be our observation. So 61, because um, 60, Because the mean mean is 60 plus nine, or rather 69, rather, sorry. Okay, 69. Okay, and um, 60 minus nine for the negative sigma, all right? That would be uh, 51, okay? 60 minus nine is 51. So minus 51, okay? Our observation is 18, okay, 18. In terms of the uh, division, okay, it's 18. So be between 51 and 69 in this area because we our median is uh, right in the middle, 60, okay. Uh, our mean number or av uh, average and our standard deviation is nine, okay. Um, from zero, 
to positive 1 right here is that would be 34 percent okay 34.134 i think yeah 34.134 percent and for the negative one uh that would be another 34 it's equal 34.134 percent for a total of 68.268 percent 68 so that would be our major majority of our observation okay in the normal distribution curve and on sigma 2, it would be 13.591, uh, 13.591 here in sigma 2. Okay, and on the negative side, that would be 13.591 also. And that the total for that is the 34 plus 34.134% and 13.591 and plus 13.59 because there are two 34.134% and 13.591 percent and total for that is 95.5 45 percent and and the uh and the sig three sigma is only about very minimal 2.14 percent okay on the right side and 2.14 14 percent on the left side and the total for that is would be 99.73 percent plus the remaining after the three sigma that would be going to zero or the tail end of the curve is point at zero point uh, one three five percent to the positive and one, uh, zero one three five percent to the negative side on the left side so the total would that would that is would be ninety nine point seventy three percent okay so or or i would say uh, uh sorry that would be ninety nine rather 99 percent because on the three sigma or standard deviation is 99.73 but beyond that in the zero till end that would be 99 uh, percent 99.73 rather or 100 percent i would say 100 percent okay so that would be our normal distribution curve coming from the sample that we have done. So I did not put the names, you no know, need for the names of the employees, just the score because this is the sample data that we want to get our X number and normal distribution and be able to analyze okay, all the, uh, uh, the observation that we have in terms of uh, putting the curve from the normal distribution, be able to get in this area, be able to get the uh, the numbers that we want to get uh, in terms of our result, okay, in terms of percentage and the sig sigma, okay, or the percentage of one sigma, two sigma, and three sigma, okay. So that's it for today's uh, lesson. I hope you like this, and if you do, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your fr friends and family, and also don't forget to thumbs up if you like it. Until my next video, thank you for watching.